Hi, this is Joseph Lebrecq, and I'm going to be showing you how to package and embed animate comps within other animate comps. And there is a process that you should go through to make sure that this happens successfully if you need to do it. So what I have here are two uh, animate projects open. I've got this old uh, kind of book giveaway project that I did for 360 Flex back in 2012. And it's got all sorts of elements animating in and out of it. So it's a fairly complex animation. And then I also have this other project, which has a larger stage to it and so forth. And for this, I want to actually grab this entire comp to embed into my larger project. So what are the steps to do that? Well, what I'm going to do is go to the end of my timeline and then select the stage panel, do a control A or select all so that all of my elements are selected. You'll notice not only do all of the elements on the stage get selected, but all the elements get selected within the elements panel and also in the timeline. So the next step is actually to go and group these. The reason we want to group them is to retain coordinate system when we place it within something else like a symbol or nest it in another group or whatever. So let's go through and choose modify, group elements in div. You'll notice that we're now within a group. So now all we have to do is really select that one group and let's go to modify again and we're going to choose convert to symbol. We can give this symbol a name. So I'll call this 360 flex, but you'll notice that we get an error because names cannot start with a number. So let's actually change this to E360 flex for embed. So I'm going to embed this. So I'll hit OK. You'll notice it takes everything and it wraps it into that symbol. So now on my stage, I simply have a symbol instance here. And that instance, you can see we have our playback track here and so forth. And actually, if I scrub through here, you can see that everything kind of gets retained as far as um, what we're doing goes. However, you'll notice when we kind of zoom out that the symbol itself is huge. It's much larger than I need it to be. And that is because as we're going out here, all of these other elements are taking up space within the symbol. So how do we deal with this? What we'll do is go back into 100%. And from here, we're going to enter the symbol. You can enter the symbol in a variety of ways. I'm just going to double click on the symbol instance. And now we're in the symbol itself, and we can see all this stuff happening. Now, if you remember, we grouped everything before. And that's to make this part a little bit easier. What we want to do now is to select simply the stage of our symbol. And you'll notice it has a huge width and height, overflow set to visible, and the instance is set to scale. So let's change some of these items. I want the overflow to be hidden. So when anything's not within the symbol stage width or height, I don't want it to show up anywhere. We're also going to go through and choose the instance sizing to resize instead of scale. And now what we can do is zoom out of here to see the full extent of the symbol. And you can see it goes all the way up here. We want to move all this up to the upper left hand corner. So select the group to make this easy. And there's our guides that show up and we can drop it right there perfectly. You can see it's X and Y is at zero, zero position. Because it's in a group, we don't have to move all these individual elements uh, together, individually rather. So going in here, we now see that, okay, we've got this uh, position where we want it in the upper left-hand corner, but the stage itself for this symbol is still far too large. So let's actually change the size of our stage. And to do that, again, we click on the stage itself. And here we'll choose a width of 550. You'll notice it shrinks down there. 
and the height will choose to be 350. So now the stage itself is nice and small. All right, so now that that's happened, we can go back out to our stage. And now that we're on the stage, we can actually move this symbol instance around and put it right there, jump back into 100%, and we can see that indeed, everything actually does display properly. Now, to reuse this, we're going to want to, of course, export the symbol itself. So let's close down our assets and go into our symbols. We can right click on this symbol and choose to export. We'll export that as an Ansem file. And I've already got it right here, so we don't have to do it again. Once this is exported as an Ansem, we can go into our other application, so our embed HTML. And here we can zoom out to see exactly what we're doing, see the full stage and so forth. And what we'll do is click this little plus button in our symbols within the library and import symbols. Now we'll find that embed.ansem and bring that in. And then we can simply drag out the ansem file. And you'll notice that playback works fine. And we don't get, even though there's stuff jumping off the screen and so forth, we don't actually see any of that here. And we can position this wherever we want. We can animate it, as you see right here. And just use it like any regular animate symbol. And that's how you package and embed animate comps within other animate comps.